Hello friends this is Webs Listen video tutorial and in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to create PDF by using DOM PDF library in PHP script. DOM PDF library is used to make PDF document like other PDF library like FPDF, TCPDF and many more other, but this is very simple library. Other library are very complex but this library is quite simple. By using this library using can easily convert HTML script to PDF document by write 4 to 5 line of code. If you have developed any web application and in that application suppose you want to make dynamic PDF then you can use this library. This is lightweight and we can easily use in our application. Now start learning this topic first we want to download this library. For download this library we have to visit this link and from here we want to download latest version of this DOM PDF library. After download PHP library we have extract library in our working folder, within this library you have get PHP font and SVG library. So we do not want to download this library extra. So this way we make simple environment to use DAM PDF library for make PDF document from HTML. Now we have make index page in our working folder and under this we want to include auto loader of DOM PDF library. So we have write required once DOM PDF slash auto load incorporated dot PHP. This is auto loader of DOM PDF library. This auto loader will load library under this index page. After this we want to get the reference the DOM PDF namespace. So we have write use DOM PDF slash DOM PDF. This way we can give reference of DOM PDF namespace. Now we want to initialize DOM PDF class. So we have write dollar document as object is equal to new DAM PDF method. By using this dollar document object we can access the all method of DOM PDF class. First we want to create PDF from simple HTML with CSS. So we have write dollar HTML is equal to simple HTML table code with CSS. So we will create PDF from this HTML. After this we have write dollar document object with load HTML method and under this method we have write dollar HTML variable. This method is used for convert HTML code to PDF document. Then after we want to set up the paper size and orientation of page. So we have write dollar document object with set paper method with two argument. In first argument we have write a four paper size and in second argument we have write landscape page orientation. This way we can set paper size by using set paper method after this we want to render the HTML as PDF. So we have write dollar document object with render method. This method will render the HTML script as PDF document. Now we want to get the output of the generated PDF in browser. So we have write dollar document with stream method. This method will PDF document output to browser. Here friends you can see when we have check output in browser then you can see PDF document has been generate and download in our local space. But now we want see output of PDF document on browser with predefined name of PDF. So we have go to index page and here we have write under stream method and under this method we have write webs lesson as name of PDF in first argument and in second argument we have write array with key attachment with zero value. Here zero value means we can see preview of document on browser. 
but suppose here we have write one then it will make document and download in our local space. So in attachment key value we have write zero that means we can see preview of document under browser. So we have saved this code and check output in browser. Here friends you can view PDF document in browser and under document we can see zebra strip table with data. So this way we can generate PDF document from HTML by using DOM PDF class. Now we want to make PDF from HTML page. So we have go to our working folder and here we have one HTML page and this is the output of this HTML page. Now we want to make PDF document from this page and this page we have put under our working folder. So we have go to index page and here we first comment some code and after this we have write dollar page variable is equal to file get contents function and under argument we have write html page name cat.html. This function will get the contents from this cat.html page and store under this dollar page variable. So this way we have store all content of HTML page into this dollar page variable. For make PDF document we have to load HTML method and under this method we have just replaced dollar HTML variable with dollar page variable and other code remains same. So we have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends when page has been loaded under browser you can see HTML page content has been converted into PDF document, so this way we can make PDF document from HTML page also. Now we want to make PDF document from MySQL data. So first we have go to index page and make database connection. So we have write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect with for argument like host name set to locale lost, username set to root, password set to blank and database name set to testing one. In our testing one database there is two table like category and product. In both table we have already inserted some data in both table, we will fetch data from both table by using in a join query and make PDF document from this data in table format. So we have first write dollar query variable is equal to select category dot category name product dot product name product dot price from product inner join category and category dot category it is equal to product dot category id. So this query will join both table data. Now we want to execute this query so we have write dollar result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar query. This function will execute query and store result under dollar result argument. Now we have write dollar output variable is equal to HTML code of table with three table column like category, product name and price. Here we have create HTML table with three column and store under dollar output variable. Then after we want to append both table data in table format under dollar output variable, so we have write while loop with dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with dollar result argument. Under this while loop we have write dollar output variable and in this variable we have append code open and close table row and between this we have write first table data tag for display category name, second table data tag for display product name and third table data tag for display product price. This way have stored data in table. Lastly we have write close table tag under dollar output variable, so our HTML code is ready and store under dollar output variable. 
So now we have write dollar document object with load HTML method and under this method we have write dollar output variable, so our code ready for make PDF document from MySQL. Friends, when page has been loaded, then you can see the category and product combined data on browser in PDF document format. So here we have make PDF from MySQL data, and we have also make PDF document from inline HTML, and we have also make PDF document from HTML page also by using DOM PDF library. So this is Web's Listen tutorial on how to use DAM PDF library for making PDF document from HTML. If you are looking to make PDF document from HTML code then you can this DOM PDF library which are lightweight and easy to use. You have to write less code for making PDF document from HTML. If you like this video tutorial, please share this video with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial, so please comment your query under comment box and lastly if you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel. We have also Facebook page also so you can also like our page also. Thank you for watching Web's Listen video tutorial.